Hello guys. In this video, I'm just gonna show you kind of a quick bag that I have set up. It's kind of got some emergency tools in it. Um, you know, just some random stuff that I have uh, in the back of the van that we kind of keep for just some spare emergency type situation stuff. So I'm gonna kind of go through it right now and show you what we kind of got going on in here. And also, um, if anybody else has any I other ideas or recommendations of what we should uh, put in here. I'm all up for suggestions. This is just kind of what we got going on right now. Just some odds and ends I kind of just kind of have in here. But anyways, start out with, uh, I've done a review on this before. This is just a Maxpedition pouch, just kind of like a little grab and get out and go type thing. And I'm just going to kind of run through some of the stuff I have in this real quick. First off, I have um, cotton balls mixed in with Vaseline. Um, these are great fire starters, so emergency fire situation. These things light right up with uh, flint steel right here. And this is uh, fire steel right here that I got. So I got fire starting materials in here. I got a wad of paracord and a bank line right here. Um, a little uh, space pen right in the water notepad. Uh, emergency blanket. Um, three sets of batteries for three different flashlights and I'll go through those but pick these little uh, carrying cases up from County Com. Pretty neat little cases and uh, yeah like these little guys. And I have a little thing of pepper spray in here. Cliff bar. A wad of duct tape. Never know when you can use some duct tape. Uh, Leatherman juice. And an emergency whistle. So yeah, that's what I have uh, in this little Maxpedition pouch. And uh, next we're gonna go over what I got into this. All right, guys, with the Maxpedition bag uh, put to the side, I'm going to kind of go over my other uh, materials and uh, stuff I have in here. Um, here's a pair of Steiner binoculars. Uh, I just like to, when we're out in the country, it's always nice to kind of see what's all out there. And, you know, if you're ever in a bug out situation as well, it's kind of good to, you know, know your surroundings and to see who's all around you. I have several of these uh, jet boil propane canisters for my jet boil stove. You know, it's always good to be able to boil some water up. So I have a good selection of that. Have a big, huge first aid kit with everything you could possibly need in here. So I'll set that over here. I got a Kelty uh, flashlight that also turns into uh, a lamp. And we kind of just hang that up in the van. So. And it's also got rechargeable batteries in here and we can just use the solar panel to keep this thing charged all the time. So, set that over here. Got some bear pepper spray. <laughs> keep away any attackers or any crazy animals. This is my Catadyne uh, water filter. This thing's uh, a little heavier, but this thing's a beast. Uh, lifetime warranty. And it's always good to be able to uh, know that you can filter out clean water for drinking if you need to. And over here I got just some more fire starting material, kindling, matches, lighters, fire starters, another jet boil canister. Here I have a Grants Forth Brooks axe. Love this for bushcrafting and axe is a great tool processing wood. Um, we do a lot of that when we're out camping and stuff, so always got to have an axe. Um, little pocket knife right here from uh, Blind Horse Knives. Just a good little, you use it as a neck knife or, you know, I use it to strap it to the belt when I'm out kind of dealing around by the camp. Mag light. Once again, this is redundant. I probably have three different flashlights in here, but you know, when it's dark out and you need light, you know, you can never have enough. So I have one of those in there. 
two packets of paracord. No paracord. It's a great tool. You can always use that. And uh, these are some steaks from my jet boil here for my coffee press. Put that back in there so I don't lose those. And uh, in here I just got a, another blanket type of deal here. And that's all that's in this main compartment. And then we'll go to what I have in here. And I just got my other flashlights. This is a Surefire Fury. And this is a little Phoenix LD15 light. Both of them got brand new batteries in. And like I said in a Smack Expedition, I showed you the other batteries that I have in there. I like to be redundant on my stuff. This is a solar panel. Um, just a little one I can clip on the backpack or... Since we're going down to the desert, it'll be nice just for charging up iPhones, iPads, and also another headlamp. <laughs> so I have another headlamp, and this is um, rechargeable, and I've used this pretty much just to keep it charged all the time. And all we have right in here is just some like emergency energy drinks, and I have Q-tips and stuff, and just some Cliff Bars, and some plastic fork and spoon kind of like backpacking type stuff so yeah that's what I got in here just for redundancy and just in case we were pulled off on the side and had to you know stay there for a while we got a little bit of supplies and this is not including our food that we would have in here of course or our water this is just some tools and equipment that I keep in here so uh, if you guys have any other ideas of what you think that we should put in here, let me know in the comments. Um, also, um, like to say thank you for watching our videos and uh, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later.